Hello everybody. Welcome to an, welcome to episode two of Dark RP Electric State. So in today in, in this episode, we are currently in the Easter update. Um the game just literally got updated about two days ago, so that's pretty cool. And with the addition of new landscapes that I, I'm not gonna show you just yet, but I will eventually along with new items. I am going to be going over, first of all, the new items, the landscaping, and how you can get those new items. So, first off, I just want to start off with the first thing, items. So, if you go to your catalog, which is in the bottom right corner next to your hunger, you have a limited time Easter crate, where, where it got 100 Oreos, it's very nice, and in here, you can get the following, such as a grass island, uh, Basket Island, Easter Head, a Tiki Torch, a Palm Tree Neon Sign, a Jacuzzi Island, Island Shed, Jeep Island, which is uh, the new vehicle added. You can also get a Waterfall, and a, there's also a new weapon, the AR-47, and a new tool, the Castaway Shovel. So, so things like the Grass Island, Basket, uh, the massive monolith that is the Easter Head, Tiki Torch, the Palm Tree Neon Sign, Jacuzzi Island, Island Shed, and Waterfall. Those are all primarily cosmetic things for building. And as I said, the Jeep Island is, is you know, the new vehicle. The AR-17 is, again, the new weapon in this update. It's a blueprint, hence the prefix UNQ. And the shovel as well, your new tool. It's similar to the uh, stocking uh, we got in the Christmas event. So currently with me, I have an AR-47 purchased from a purchased second hand. So, so this is the AR-47. It, it looks like a combination between the AR-15 with a shortened barrel and an AK-47. So the body is similar to an AK-47. And now, so sorry. Um, so the body is similar to that of an AR-15 with a shortened barrel. However, things like the the grip, stock, and I believe magazine as well uh, have our AK-47 like so. So this is so this is the rifle in all its glory. This is what it looks like. Very nice. So anyways, I'm gonna give you a brief firing demonstration. So to demonstrate to you how kind of OP this weapon is. So it's a rifle, but look how fast it shoots. Now that is fast, so I'm just going to purchase some more ammo. Now... Oh. Now, for a rifle, this is pretty impressive and very OP. Now, in comparison, here is a FAMAS G36 and Tommy gun. So this is a FAMAS. I'm just going to reload. So. So this is the FAMAS, right? It's it's fast. It's similar to the M4 in shooting. Well, him all lead it can spew out of its barrel, but I say it's a little slower than the M4, just marginally, but not like by a whole lot. This here is the G36 relative to the AR47, and this is how it fires. So again, this is the G36 and AR47. Very similar in rounds per minute, but the AR-47 comes ahead as just being a wee bit faster. And this is a Tommy gun. Its rate of fire is in the ballpark of similar to an AK-47, but not quite. I'd say it's a little bit faster. And so I'm just going to put all my weapons away. So those are the weapons, not weapons, but other items we have. And now for the big reveal, the new landscaping we got. So the once desolate wasteland is now breaming uh, with life. So we have large trees like this one in the center of spawn. We also have, instead of the yellow dead and decaying grass, we have green and quite lively grass here. Um, over there, we have a large waterfall, quite monolithic. 
and and again we have another real massive tree and and for the, for the next about uh, uh, 10 or 11 days um you can you, you could actually use this tree as a cover or hideout for uh, printers or any other uh, illicit thing so this is, so it's really nice and I am not gonna engage those people because they got AR-47s if you didn't just see so I'm just gonna harvest some of my crops and so that being done so this is basically the entire Easter update and uh, you know what uh, I'm, pr I'm probably just gonna eat it you only live once Oh, never mind. It's all good. So, so, so in this episode, um, instead of you know, just making cola, we're just gonna do some good old scavenging. So, I'm gonna crack open my lucky. It's kind of a weird name for a card, but you know, it's whatever. And off to, first, off to the scrapyard because since it's the closest. And uh, I might as well just check if there's a loot crate under this bridge. There usually is one. And there we go. So I'm just crack this open. And boom. We are already done. And let's just let's just hope he has something good. Maybe a hundred <gasps> Yes! Hundred thousand cash. How did that happen? I don't know, but still. That's that shouldn't have happened, but okay. <laughs> that was quite uh, that was uh, quite unexpected, but you know it's it, it, it's whatever. Damn, hundred thousand cash just from uh, just from that. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Really, that I think, it's only, I think it's only happened to me about four times throughout the entirety of uh, me just playing some dark RP. Yeah. All right, so and there's just some scavenging more. So, so yeah, so I I just forgot to mention this is a, this is Rylock Scrapyard. You know, it's where you get all your your you know boxes of scrap and bolts and you know you sell them off for right now. A lot of a lot of newcomers are often are kind of intimidated or get confused when it comes to how of scavenging since it's new. So. For, for those newcomers, uh, obviously, you're going to need a few things to start when scavenging. I'd recommend having a car, but you could go by foot, or you could ask, or kindly persuade your neighbors for a car or vehicle they can lend you. Second, you need these things called scavenge charges. Now, don't ask... No, I'm not gonna lie. I think the concept of having scavenge charges is kind of dumb, but also at the same time kind of smart because, on one hand, it, it restricts you to only scavenging six scavengeable items, but also at the same time, it kind of prevents people from hogging all the scavenge stuff. Note message to create to the creators of this game. Maybe if you jacked it up, the amount of scavenge charges you had to ten. It, that it would oops, one piece of scrap. It would be kind of nice since you know I could get more and you know etc. So anyways, now I've run out of scavenge charges and I have to wait for these to regenerate. So in the meantime, I'll probably just cut ahead. I'm just gonna get some uh, grapes for the cola. Okay, and we're at the, uh, Bruh. you know, that's kind of a, 
it's kind of a bonehead move considering they have zero scavenge charges. So you know, I might as well just go right back. It's kind of a bonehead move, but it's whatever. Yeah, I, I, I like the. You know, I think while we're at it, I, I might as well just uh, show you the viewer. You know, the new landscape that is um, in this Easter event. So. So, so yeah, vast uh, expanse of grass that, you know, is covering the sand. It looks pretty nice. I, I, I kind of like it. I wish this, it could stay, but, you know, after this Easter event, it's just going to revert back to the old, um, like, desert wasteland. And I'll try and uh, scale this waterfall just because, just trying to, alright, and... And there we go. So this is, we're at the top of the waterfall. It's this thing, but yeah, it was kind of whatever. Oh yeah, and again from the Easter update, this is the Jeep. It's your well, the Jeep is just G spun, but that was just your classic like jungle or African line safari Jeep. Nothing too special. Kind of a cool thing. Might as well just stop by this place called the Iron Works, which is kind of a hammer and sickle right there. Really, really nice. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so really, uh, no, that, that, that's just a cool name, the Iron Works. That, that's a cool name for a gun shop. Why don't I think of that? And let's see what we have. Mauser's, and they're kind of cheap, but I could probably haggle the price down a little more. It's kind of weird how the, like, like half of the magazine and stock is just sticking out. Ploxy Cola over, oh wow, that's actually, that's actually a pretty good price. This guy knows what he's doing. $50 Cola, that's just pretty nice. Huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna comment on this thing. Nah, he's not the owner, but whatever. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I might as well mention the um, the lucky car from the uh, St. Patrick's Day event. It kind of reminds me of the. I'll probably post a picture on the screen right now. Um, literally the was I think it was called a sedan. I think it was like I think it was, this was called the sedan in Bloxburg. The two cars they look pretty similar. Let's see if there's any. Nope, there is nothing. And and, and we're like six thousand away from nine hundred thousand dollars and another hundred thousand dollars away from my million dollar goal. So that's that's that'll be pretty cool when we get to a million. And and right here, again on our episode of scavenging, this is just our um, the like lumber uh, factory or whatever you want to call it. This is we know we get your wood, so this is your lumber yard. Is there a crate in here? No, there isn't. Usually there's like there's like two crates right here, and you just got you can't get both, but. It's kind of annoying, but it's, it's kind of one of the things you have to uh, deal with. And boom, there's just two planks of wood. And there we go.
and this is the wood. Our corn is fully grown, so that's pretty good. I can get, the, I can reap the profits. And there we go. Oop, oop. There we go. Um, need to harvest this. All right, so we uh, we are now at eight hundred and ninety six thousand dollars so like four thousand away from um nine hundred thousand which, which is pretty cool so i'm much i'm i'm just again cut ahead till the um time for the scavenge station reset so i'll just cut ahead now Okay, and I literally just came in at the right time, so the thing is, oh, wait, well, that's just annoying, all six drones used will be set in two hours, well, that's just nice. Man, yeah, well, might as well just wait two hours. Um, so in the meantime, we'll just get more stuff. You know what, I'm gonna just chug this Loxy Cola. Hopefully having a, hopefully having a completely full hunger uh, gets me more scavenge charges. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention if your if your hunger is too low, you can't have you, you won't regenerate scavenge charges, so that's kinda of like an FY and I for uh, y'all's watching. And And again, I'll just cut ahead to look back at the shop. And we're back at the shop. This is, these are my boxes of scrap that I will sell. And I, f I just remembered something this was, this was kind of nagging me, because I knew I, f I forgot something, but I just couldn't like, put my finger on it. How about no? So, um, yes, this is this crafting station. So, this is your AR-47 shipment. And so, this, again, this, this is the new weapon. So, it, this, this rev of course, obviously, you need a heavy weapon station. So... Again, you need a box of scrap and thirty-nine thousand dollars. So, so if there's eight, so let's just do some math right here. So, thirty-nine thousand dollars. Oh, I just thirty-nine thousand divided by eight. It's so, so that's about four thousand dollars of rifle. So, I'll just sell that at a markup of four thousand to get get like eight thousand. So it's just like a profit of. Like four thousand dollars, so which is so four thousand times like eight, so four times eight, that's about thirty-two thousand dollars. So it'll it'll be a little while till we're profitable, but yeah, it's whatever. Um, can the thing about the thing about not having like a black market dealer or like sorry a black market dealer like Game Pass is you can't. For, if you want to be like a gun dealer, you're not. You, you can't. You're not very profitable as a business. And so, if if you have like the that game side game pass, um, you can literally craft all the weapons you want for like real cheap. At least that's what I have been told. Don't quote me on that. And this is the cola uh, van. Only AR, y'all. Y'all's be uh, selling AR. I was asking about AR. Alright, I'll just ask. 
How much? I'll, I'll do a bit of haggling, so. Hold up. The mass for AR. Ah. Uh, eh. Eh, well, my haggling failed. He he wouldn't budge. Lol. Ah, <laughs> uh, that that was kind of sad. And there's a red person right there. As you know, standard procedure. If you see a red, you KOS. I literally pwned him, <laughs> but no. Let's chase after him. Oop, there he is. Ah, uh, nah, he pacified himself. No. Ah. <laughs> uh. And I know himself, he's a fast firing weapon. Ooh, um, yeah, I should probably. Uh, oh, oh, no, it's that dude on the jetpack was just rogue. <laughs> he was red. So. Oh! We're at 800,000. We're at 800,000. Ah, oh, shoot. 800. And 98,000, so we're like literally two more from our goal, or at least my goal of having um, $900,000. I later, I could have sworn I locked these doors, I kept these locked. The hell? Someone lockpicked them, but okay. And yeah, those were locked. I might as well just do some more um cosmetic upgrades to my little uh cola shop that is silly goose as shown in episode one. Link will be in the description. And And there we go, and there is my little fireplace that I just added for aesthetics. And, and it makes it look like as if one of these things is on fire, which is pretty cool. And can I access every single one? Yes, I can. So I'll just press T. Action, save this little building. Save, and yeah. So, yeah, so we have about $2,000 more to make, so let's go to another place. Again, I will cut ahead, and this one is a surprise. Okay, so we're at the place. There is just here's the loot crate. If I can just try and blindly f find it, I'll um. 
and and uh, this. And there it is. So just drive my thing in. I'll just scavenge all of them things. And finally, we have more scavenge charges so we can get more. So we have a battery ball of data. So those items are just used by from what I was reading on the Wikipedia for dark RP electric state yeah so basically the inventor uses these things to make certain products what products you may ask I don't know but they're probably good either way yeah so a battery ball of data they both sell for equally 500 bucks respectively so again I'll just cut ahead to back <laughs> Okay, and we are back at the Silly Goose. We have a doge, or how you pronounce that, at my bar. Yeah, and that's how I how I get those. Yeah, so the barrels. I'll just question him. Yep, so from scavenging and Oh, would you look at that? We're we're already at nine hundred thousand dollars. Nice. Um I'll just tell him to follow me. Again, I'll just cut ahead. <laughs> I'll just tell him slash press E and you can get yep just tell him the ways and I'll just leave him be and I think that's basically where I'm going to end the episode. Uh, thank you all for watching and have a nice day. Bye.